So it looks like ChatGPT has decided that one of the top GPTs is All Trails. So we're gonna check that out today. If you're not familiar with All Trails and its platform, basically it allows us to go by city and geolocation to find trails that are near us that we may wanna go on a hike on. Therefore, in today's tutorial, we're gonna see everything we should ask this kind of GPT, all of its capabilities, and that's why we're wearing this cap as well, because we're gonna go on some hikes. Welcome back, y'all. So in today's video, we're checking out All Trails. This is one of the trending GPTs found on ChatGPT's GPT store. That's a lot of GPTs. It's honestly, <laughs> I need like a repeat box or something for that. But let me know in the comments down below other GPTs that you're finding that are super cool that you want tutorials on. Now, what like unique GPTs, y'all? Something that really stands out as basically either accessing a separate database or, you know, something altogether that we haven't really seen before. That's kind of what I want to review from now on on this channel when it comes to GPTs as we want to see very unique use cases rather than reskins of past stuff we've already reviewed on this channel. That being said though, make sure to follow me on Twitter, you get insight on artificial intelligence, you get to see my daily thoughts. And also, yes, this right here is a Zapier cap. Um, I got this from their Zapier swag shop and we're gonna wear this today as one, I just got out of the shower and two, we're gonna go on some trails. So let's find out. So it seems like the best way to structure our inquiries when it comes to GBT is basically give our location and then give a specific variable associated with that location. That sounded like confusing, but basically as you see, what are trails near me that are dog friendly? So in the first question here, this is asking me like, what are the best trails for bird watching in the Everglades National Park here? It's going to go ahead and look at its backend, or in this context, all the data it has on this website here and provide us with a output. So here we go, okay. I like this. Uh, user interface is nice. Do the fact that it actually gives us an image of the actual trail itself plus a nice little UI thing here where it gives us like context of the distance and the elevation gain, a bunch of other stuff here. Okay, this is looking nice, y'all. Completely free, no account was required, obviously other than a ChatGPT Plus account. And okay, so let's say I like this one. Let's see what kind of what it looks like when we go here. Okay, cool. Pretty solid stuff, y'all, so far. So let's go ahead and keep proctoring here and see the limitations of this GPT. So as we saw in the previous output, we had an elevation metric. So we can actually look, it looks like we can actually probably specify by that specific variable. So I'm gonna try this question. I'm gonna say, find me challenging backpacking trails in the Rocky Mountains with an elevation gain of over 2,000 feet. Make sure to not bring a bag of chips. That thing's gonna go pop. Also, funny enough, the developers left ChatGPT production in the uh, the actual GBT itself, that's actually pretty funny. They didn't actually rename that. Production in this context, if you're a developer, is like the branch that you send with the front-facing user uses. So right now we're in ChatGPT's production branch. Pretty cool here. So we are able to specify by elevation gain here, 2,500, 4,900, and so on. Description, average rating, difficulty. Now, if you used all trails in the past, here is one thing I want to point out when it comes to their rating system. Some of this rating system is a little bit biased. So for example, let's say I found a difficulty rating that was like medium. You gotta understand that basically the type of population that would take that trail anyways, it may be medium. So if like the population that would take that trail is like in their 20s to 30s, to them that's medium. But if you're older than like you're in your 60s or 70s then you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on, this is not medium. There is a little bit bias associated with the difficult rating. Just keep that in mind just as a general thing when it comes to all trails. Also, I think they have a review system. So let me go ahead and see real quick. Pretty sure they have a review system. Yeah, okay, so you can get more context there as well. So as one of the questions is already dog friendly, we're gonna say, I'm looking for dog friendly trails within 20 miles, Asher, Asheville, North Carolina. I probably butcher how you say that. And what can you recommend? On top of that, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually go to their website. One of, we're gonna choose one of these options here. And we're gonna look at their different variable points. Cause I think that's kind of how you can proctor this chat GPT is that's how they identify and structure their database, such as, can you find me trails in uh, San Francisco, California that are four out of five stars, stuff of this nature. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose one of these. As you've seen, these are some of the variables here. So let's go to this trail right here. And if I scroll down, okay, so tags or whatever, however they reference these are probably what we're gonna be worrying about in this context, let me zoom in y'all is dogs on leash, hiking, forest views, wildflowers, wildlife, rocky, scramble. So if you're very familiar in the kind of tags it uses in this platform, that's kind of how you can specify. Wow, this is a very intuitive platform. Okay, good job SaaS develop or software developers. 
So that just about does it. Basically, this is one of those layering where it's just like optimizing a search engine in the context of instead of me searching on all trails, I can talk to, it's almost like basically if I was in a room of Google and I'm like, hey Google, there's actually a funny college humor skit on that like years ago. Oh my gosh, this actually brought back so many memories. If y'all, I don't even know what it was called, but if you know what I'm talking about, it was like a person was in a room and it was like Google was the other person and it was like giving search results. That's a little bit of a tangent, but that just reminded me of it. But basically, it's kind of like that, but not with the humor part. I'm basically talking to someone in the context of searching for trails. Pretty cool stuff, y'all. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Check out the playlist at the end here. It's showing how to do, create, custom, whatever you want with this GBT store and stuff in general. On top of this channel in itself is to help you leverage artificial intelligence. So I'll see you in the next video. That was the playlist I was talking about right down there. I don't know what it is, but supposedly based off your clicks, your late night rabbit holes of just going down a rabbit hole on YouTube, that video was specific to you. And then that button right there, I'm not too sure, but supposedly you click that and something happens.